What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Jim and I, and you enjoy my content, you can smash smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Hold on one second. I apologize. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can come over here. Come on. Come on, baby. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, he misses his cat tree. I need to build him another one or get him another one or something. But um, okay. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Read your own reading. For sign of Gemini. This could resonate if you have Gemini. Any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, Jupiter, chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. You already said that, but say it again. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um. Love you guys. Thanks, everybody, for all the new subscribers. Um, if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I'd appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel message I received, I received one for your sign, and I heard shocking news soon. And I heard it, like, pretty big. It was, like, shocking news soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Gemini. Some kind of shocking news soon. Whatever that is and how that applies, okay? I feel like uh, the newspaper person. Extra, extra, read all about it. Spirit messages, yeah, sign Gemini. So I feel the shocking news can either go positive or ne negative. We have happiness. Number seven can be a very significant number in one's life. Number seven, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number seven. Uh, yeah, I feel the shocking news can either go positively or negatively. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, okay, he's comfortable now. Spirit messages you have for sign of Gemini. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. A child pedophile ring is about to shut down. Out of the blue, it's about to shock the hell out of you. A child uh, pedophile ring is about to sh shut down. Uh, it's about to shock the hell out of you. A child pedophile ring is about to sh shut down. Uh, out of the blue. Out of the blue. It's about to shut down. Out of the blue. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So whoever you are, you know about this child pedophile ring. Or you're about to find out about it. Or you're running it. But however that resonates, it's about to shut down. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Uh, for some, you could help. Uh, maybe you know the information or about to find it out or your investigators and you're about to shut it down and it's about to give you happiness um, and that could be the too much concern with sexual matters could be the child pedophile ring um, but you plug it in how it resonates and that could be the equal energy justice liberty and justice shutting this shit down and it was somebody's golden egg the child pedophile ring but it's about to be shut down you plug it in how it resonates, man. Well, kudos to if somebody's about to help shut this shit down, and I'm just being for real. But if you're on the negative end of karma of this, you deserve everything negative coming to your ass, and I'm just being for real, for real. Okay? Spirit messages you have for sign, Gemini. Only you know which side of karma you're on on this. If you're on the positive side of karma or the negative side, and that's just the damn truth. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Maybe if you help shut this shit down or you put in an official complaint to shut this shit down, somebody's going to compliment you for uh, having some balls here. Maybe. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? Uh, for some, you could be dealing with the air sign. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, and midhaven, Jupiter, charts. If you are, eagle. Justice is about to be served. 
For some, you're about to help serve it, your very light side. For some, you're about to get your shit handed to you. Huge pedophile and creep. Damn, that's strong. Okay, so for uh, one of you guys, you are a, um, you're a pedo. And you're about to get your shit handed to you. I think you might have been involved in this child pedophile ring. Or you headed this child pedophile ring. Or you made a lot of freaking money off this ch child pedophile ring. And I'm just being for real. But justice is about to be served. And shit's about to be sh uh, shut down. And your shit's about to be handed to you. And honestly, let freedom ring, baby. Y'all know there's three types of people I can't stand. Liars, um, thieves, and pedos. So I have no remorse for this damn pedo. Or pedos. If you resonate in this category. I just don't. Your ass deserves it. And that's just the truth. And I hope you get put on the child sex registry list. Child sex offender registry list. And I'm just being for real for you. I can't see how you wouldn't. But for one, you're going to help shut the shit down. So let freedom ring, baby. I think you're going to put an official report in or call the feds or call the police or call both. Or maybe you are the feds or the police or investigators. Somehow the shit's about to be uh, shut down. It's going to make you very happy. For some, it could be your child that was part of this child pedophile ring, possibly, or somebody else's child you care about. Um, it's some sick shit that it child pedophile ring shit is, and that's just the truth. It's the damn truth. For one, you're about to find out a fire sign feminine is about to get a presidential invitation soon. For one, you're about to find out a fire sign feminine is about to get a, a presidential invitation soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, for one, you're about to get a presidential invitation as well. For one, you're about to get a presidential invitation as well. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for one, you're about to get a presidential invitation. And for one, a fire, you're about to find out a fire sign feminine is about to get a presidential uh, invitation. I pulled that in in Leo's reading the other day, uh, presidential invitation energy. So um, I feel this is like from the, um, I think it's the United States of America president. Um, just for real, for real, unless there's a, you know, other countries with presidents. I'm sure there are, but um, anyways, um, I feel like the eagle, I feel it's like United States is what I'm feeling. Um, so like the president, presidential invitation, I'm feeling president of the United States um, is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're about to get a presidential invitation. For one, a fire sign feminine is Aries Leo Sage. They could have Aries Leo Sage in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Ben Haven, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, uh, Gemini. Golden egg. For one, you're about to get promoted to corporate. Okay, for one, you're about to get promoted to corporate. For one, you're about to get promoted to corporate. So, congratulations, whoever that's for. You're about to get promoted to corporate. You're a golden egg. Hopefully, you didn't step on other people to get there. And that's just damn truth because that's what a lot of people do. And that's just damn truth. So, hopefully, you didn't. But if you didn't and you did the right way, congratulations. If you did, that, I mean, that's you. Just being for real, for real. You have to live with that shit. But you plug it in how it resonates. But um, Golden Egg in this aspect is basically um, 
you being valuable to the company. Um, now, whether you did it sacrificially or not, I don't know. Okay, only you know the actions you have done to other co-workers in the past. Have you tried to sabotage them or did you sabotage them or not? Or did you do it the right way? Okay. I didn't hear anything else. I was waiting to see if I did. Okay. Happiness. A petting zoo is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. It's about to make them very happy. For one, a mall. For one, a mall. For one, a petting zoo. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's going to make you very um, happy. The mall or the petting zoo. Uh, it's going to bring you happiness. Uh, maybe for some, you might have to spend, maybe you're going to spend a good amount of money there with the golden egg. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but the mall or the petting zoo is going to make you very happy. I think uh, I see animals in the happiness card. The animals make you happy or somebody you care about happy, and you're about to go um, participate in animal therapy, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. A very significant date over the next two weeks is about to become very significant in Gemini's life. For one, it's going to go downhill very quickly. For one, you will end up having sex the first night, first date night, and the person will get pregnant. Damn. So you plug it in how it resonates. So dating over the next two weeks, I heard. Uh, for one of you guys, um, the date's going to go south. Um, now, you can have one date in the course of two weeks or two or two plus dates. But for one of you guys, some kind of date you're going to have in the next two weeks is going to go south. So uh, maybe they call, maybe they get a fake call, call themselves and say, oh, my grandma's sick. I got to go when you're in the middle of dinner. I mean, come on. That's the most classic fakey fake get out of the shit known to man. Um, or, oh, my brother's got a flat tire, you know. I've done that shit before, and that's just the truth. Um, but, or not. But, I mean, I can't say I hadn't done it before, because I have done it, you guys. I have done it, and that's the damn truth. You want to get out of the date quick? That's a good way to do it, and that's just true. But for one, I heard you're going to have sex the first night, um, first date night. So, first time you uh, go out with this person, y'all are going to have sex, and I heard the person's going to end up pregnant. So, too much concern with sexual matters. Um, apparently, you've got some super sperm or super ovaries, if that resonates for you. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am, uh, uh, if you don't want to get pregnant, um, there is birth control, there, and you can order it online. I posted a link in my community tab uh, for everybody to stay safe there. Um, there's also depo shots, and there's also oral contraception. Um if anybody needs to hear that, okay, there's ways to prevent pregnancy other than abstinence. Abstinence. Somebody likes to get it on like Donkey Kong. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you don't want a little bun in the oven in nine months, um, you know, you got to prevent it. And for one, a pregnancy of a Capricorn is about to become very significant. It's about to land somebody in jail soon. And for one of you guys, a pregnancy of a Capricorn is about to become very significant. It's about to land a Gemini in jail soon. So for one of you guys, a pregnancy of a Capricorn is about to become very significant. And it's about to land um, a Gemini in jail soon. So um, pregnancy of the Capricorn. Uh, maybe you impregnated this Capricorn. Somehow it's going to land you in jail. So I think for some, this Capricorn could be a minor. I didn't hear they were, but... Somehow it's going to land you in jail, Gemini. So I feel you could be an adult that has impregnated a minor or is about to impregnate a minor is what I feel. Um, or it could be your minor child that is about to get impregnated. Possibly. 
um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, hopefully, I mean, somehow you, a pregnancy of a Capricorn is about to land you in jail. So how I feel it's either your child that's about to get impregnated and maybe the, if you're not married, the other, uh, the other co-parent, they find out about that shit and they, they file charges on your ass for allowing somebody to be impregnated, a minor to be impregnated, or you are an adult that has impregnated the minor. However that resonates, okay? An abortion from the past is about to come up, come up too. An abortion from the past is about to come up too. So somehow an abortion from the past is about to come up. So you plug it in how it resonates. Mice to sport among friends or family. Heavy water sign and fire sign conflictual energy here. Heavy. Heavy water sign and fire sign conflictual uh, energy here. Heavy. So you plug it in how it resonates. So uh, family energy. Heavy water sign and uh, fire sign conflictual family energy. So whoever that's for. Um, it sounds like your family, it could be an extended or immediate. You have heavy fire signs. Sorry, I barked. You have heavy fire signs or um, water signs are both in your family. Aries, Leo, Side, your um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but it sounds like they are conflictual and they love to argue and fight and fuss with you. Or um, you love to argue, fight, or fuss with them. Um, whoever these water signs and fire signs are. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, your Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and their Semi, Rising, Venus, Worth, and Midhand, which your charts. Definite Five of Wands energy here. Um, they love to fuss and fight and argue and wazzy, wazzy, wazzy. Um, it is what it is. Um, I can't stand folks like that. Um, and that's just the truth. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. A friend of the past for some military, for some high school, is about to give you a compliment. Okay, for some of you guys, it's a friend, uh, sounds like a friend from the military. Now, it could be any branch, Navy, Air Force, Marines, um, Coast Guard, Army, what have you, what have you. And for some high school, they're about to give you a compliment. So, compliment from an admirer, either from whoever you are, for one, you're ex-military, I'll tell you that, um, and, um, for one, it's from somebody you went to high school with, so, compliments from an admirer, either from someone you went, uh, you were in military service with, or for someone you went to high school with, you plug it in, how it resonates, compliments from an admirer, I think it's gonna make you happy, And for one, your mother is going to try to come back into your ex-wife's life. No, this will never happen. The ex-wife is not interested. Okay. I heard for one, your, your mother is going to try to come back into your ex-wife's life. I heard no, this will never happen. The ex-wife's not interested. 
So um, I don't know if you have a hand in trying to get your mother to come back into your ex-wife's life. Why anybody would do that? I'm not saying you, you, you are because I didn't hear you were trying to do that. But why is your mother trying to smooth back into your ex-wife's life? Why the hell would anybody want to try to nose back into anybody's life? That makes no damn sense. If you're out, you're out. And that's just, there's a reason you're out. Maybe um, maybe your mother needs to hear that. I mean, I'm serious, Jim and I. That, that's not right, man. Um, I wouldn't want nobody. I, I mean, I have nothing against my ex, my ex-father-in-law uh, or ex-mother-in-law unless they harm my kids or harm me. And that's just the truth. But do I want to speak to them? Hell no, I don't. And that's just damn true. Like, never, unless I drop off the kids and they're in a safe area. Period. So I I don't blame your ex-wife is what I'm trying to say, if that resonates for you. Whoever you are, you have an ex-wife. And she wants nothing to do with communication as far as your mother there, Gemini. She wants nothing to do with it. You're, you're already divorced from this person. You might need to warn your mother. Unless she wants to get a mouthful from your ex-wife. I mean, and I'm just being for real, for real. Okay? She's not playing around. She's not playing around. That's confirmation, Jim and I. She's not playing around. So, if she doesn't want a protection order put on her ass, I would warn your mother to stay the hell away from your ex-wife if anybody needs to hear that. Okay? Just saying. A significant custody change through many series of chain events is about to become very significant. A significant custody change through many series of chain events is about to become very significant. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some kind of significant custody change is about to become very significant. So you plug it in how it resonates, uh, Gemini. Spare messages you have for like this. Courthouse. I heard a significant custody change is about to become very significant. Number 23. Unexpected legal paperwork is about to happen soon. For some, you're about to send this. For some, you're about to receive it. Unexpected legal paperwork is about to happen very soon. For some, you're about to send it. For some, you're about to receive it. So, um, I think it's legal paperwork from the courthouse. Uh, I think it's like a summons or something of that nature. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you're about to send this legal paperwork to person, people, place, or situation. For some, you're going to receive it. And for some... I think it's uh, legal issues regarding whoever, whatever sick ass pedos I'm picking up in Gemini's reading. Um, I think your ass is about to get eat up, literally eat up, money eat up wise. I think your ass is about to be jailed, and you should. And I hope your ass ends up in prison, sick ass pedo. If anybody needs to hear that, and I'm just being for real. Through many series of shame events, this pedophile will end up jailed and they will end up getting beat up very severely in jail. 
Through many series of chain of events, this pedophile will end up in jail. And I heard uh, they will end up getting beat up in jail. They're about to ever regret exploiting children and abusing them. They're about to regret ever regret exploiting and abusing children. Well, they shouldn't have done it, sick-ass pedos. And that's just the fucking truth. I have no remorse or regret for pedos. I just don't. I don't. Period. Point blank. Leave the kids alone. Hashtag save the kids. Anybody needs to hear that. All right. Love you guys. Namaste.